All right, here's another short video. We're gonna give some measurements here. From the leaf springs, 13 inches. From the rotor, six and three quarters inches. Outside of the stud, nine inches. Depending on how thick the rotor is, I guess. But leaf springs, rotor my bad about 13 inches depending on which way you hold it but straight up down on the face about 13 inches from the mounting surface out about four and a quarter these are factory these are probably standard with the three quarters and f-250s three and a half inches from the rotor the brakes look to be the same. I have to check in there. But this already has a gooseneck hitch, eight lugs. It's um, 170 millimeter spacing. So I haven't seen any measurements on the internet. Studs from the back side are two and a half inches long. From the front side, they're two and a quarter, quarter inch thick flange. Full floater axle comes all the way to the outside. So but it is a dana everyone i have seen that is a dana it has a dana symbol on the pumpkin right in the center right there i don't know if you can see the tag they look beefier they are beefier makes it way more you can haul more i'm still looking for a dana rear end I've got some spacers coming from mine. Can't haul the weight without the Dana rear end though. But we're going to see what we can find because they want $1,800. And a rebuilt one, $900, but it don't come with all the stuff. They cut my cat off of mine. This one only has 20,000 miles. It's an 05. But I can delete my cat delete my muffler but I don't have the end pipe neither they cut it off I gotta look so three hundred dollars for four inch exhaust mine's three and a half so figured I'd get up under here I can measure all the way across give me a second forgive me and then uh, limited what I can do here so you're looking at 60 and a half inches from brake drum to brake drum and then from bolting flange you add some 14 more inches so that'd be 10 11 12 13 14 74 inches because this would be I will say seven and a half so 15 inches That'd be 75 inches. So we got five foot there. And we go, yeah, seven inches. So 14 inches from five, six, seven, eight. That's six foot two cross from hub flange to hub flange but anyway brake calipers this thing looks like it needs brakes They're pretty daggone close I can't see that the one side that side looks good this side look bad I have to get down here and look at a different way can't see too far over there but anyway, that ain't my part of my job. But Dana rear end. Let me get up under there. It's got the same transmission as mine. It has got the flange for the four-wheel drive made onto it. That is the flange right there for the four-wheel drive. 
All you do is unbolt your drive shaft and unbolt the yoke that goes in the back and hook up your transfer case. But anyway, all right, fellas. Hopefully this will help you if somebody's trying to do a conversion or do a dually rear wheel conversion and it's got different bump stops on the frame right here. Got these round ones. Springs are the same. Rear ends beefier. All right, appreciate it.